Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently acknowledged another printing uh, security vulnerability in the Windows operating system, and that this is also again to do with the Windows Print Spooler, the service, and this has nothing to do with the Print Nightmare exploit that uh, the last Patch Tuesday addressed, uh, this month's Patch Tuesday addressed last week. This is a totally new uh, exploit and vulnerability that is making its way now into Windows. And it's again to do with the Windows Print Spooler uh, service. Now the issue is being tracked as CVE 20213448 by Microsoft. And as yet Microsoft says there is no uh, patch available, but they are investing, investigating this issue as we can see over on the MSRC uh, webpage. And it's obviously addressed as Windows Print Spooler Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability. And uh, this uh, was updated on the 15th of July 2021. And if we just scroll down here, we can see uh, that Microsoft says in the summary, an attacker who success successfully exploited this vulnerability could run arbitrary code with system privileges. An attacker could then install programs, view change or delete data or create new accounts with full user rights. An attacker must have the ability to execute code on a victim system to exploit this vulnerability. So this is not a remote code uh, uh, exploit like the print nightmare was. This is a, um, the attacker must have the ability to execute code on a victim system to exploit this vulnerability. So it won't be, it won't be a remote code execution like the print nightmare was. And the workaround they say for this vulnerability is stopping and disabling the print spooler service. Now this is unfortunate because this isn't the ideal solution because if you disable the print spooler service like I have posted previous, previously regarding the print nightmare exploit, you cannot print from your machine. But if you have are expected, you know, you expect that maybe you have, um, uh, you know, there is code on your machine or an attacker has got access to your machine, you can go and disable that print spooler service manually. And obviously, as I mentioned, it's a small price to pay if you have been uh, you know, obviously you have been exploited, but just remember if you disable the print spooler service, you will not be able to print because that service is responsible for all the uh, printing jobs on your PC. So if we just pop over to our search and we just type in services, this brings up all the background services in Windows. And if we just go down to P for print spooler, yeah, we can see print spooler and it says the service spool prints jobs and handles interaction with the printer. So basically it is responsible for all your printing jobs on your, on your PC. And then you just right click it, go properties, or you can double click on it, stop the service, change it from automatic so it doesn't start up when you uh, boot up your PC or restart your PC, go to disabled, click apply, and just enter OK. And you can see now the print spooler service is disabled. Now this is the exact same temporary fix that we did with the print nightmare exploit. Although this has got nothing to do with the print nightmare exploit. This is a totally new and independent vulnerability now regarding the print spooler service according to Microsoft. And then you can always reverse the process to enable the uh, print spooler service um, once you have got the all clear or a patch has been released. Now, if we just go back to that post, we can see uh, a couple of frequently asked questions. And did the July 2021 security update introduce this vulnerability? Microsoft says no, and they recommend that you um, install the latest security update. So that would be last week's Patch Tuesday update. So make sure you're up to date. And here's another one here. When will Microsoft release a security update for this vulnerability? We are developing a, secu a security update. So basically they are working on a fix, but there is uh, no fix as yet. That's why you need to disable the print spooler service if you fear you might be affected. And they say uh, that all security updates are tested to ensure quality to prior uh, release. Solutions to verified security issues are normally released via our monthly update Tuesday uh, cadence. So we are then expecting either at the end of this month with the optional preview build, a preview update that rolls out near the end of each month um, or we are expecting as they say uh, 
a patch to be rolled out in uh, August's uh, patch Tuesday, which will be the second Tuesday of August um, with the fix to this. So I just wanted to let you know this has got nothing to do with the Print Nightmare exploit. This is a totally independent and new print spooler vulnerability, um, win Windows print spooler elevation of privilege vulnerability that has now made its way into the Windows operating system. And the workaround is to disable that print spooler service until Microsoft rolls out a fix. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.